The Glass Abyss is a Star Wars novel about Mace Windu, so it was the last place I was expecting to hear some new lore about Yoda, and it's not really new lore, it's making some legend stuff canon again, so it's new old lore. Anyway, The Glass Abyss includes a mention of Yoda's old master, Nakata del Gormo. A passage near the end of the book reads, Yoda's living space was a modest and hidden dwelling with few decorations. One exception was a sand sculpture of a star system he recognized as Hisalria. Mace had not seen it before, but it was provocative. Yoda was a bit slippery about his early days, but rumor had it that one of his early instructors was Nakata del Gormo, said to have been a Hisalrian. That's interesting wording, keeping Yoda's past mysterious and steeped in rumor, but it also lines up well with what we knew about Nakata del Gormo from before, because his story was considered to be an in-universe legend. Del Gormo was originally created as part of a fan contest called Design an Alien in Star Wars Galaxy magazine. Lucasfilm's keeper of the holocron, Leland Chi, confirmed that all of the aliens published in the magazine were considered to be part of the continuity at the time, which is now known as Star Wars Legends, and he also clarified that Del Gormo Gormo's backstory, which was created within the contest, was a story people told about Yoda within Star Wars. Maybe it was true, or maybe it wasn't. Now I think this is a strong link to suggest that maybe Yoda did train with the Hisarian at some point in his younger years. So what did we know about Nakata del Gormo from that legend? Supposedly, Yoda was traveling to the Core Worlds when he crash-landed on a Swamp World. There he met a Hisarian Jedi Master named Nakata del Gormo, who revealed that Yoda was Force-sensitive and trained him as his Padawan. Eventually, a Republic ship heard the crashed ship's distress signal and rescued Yoda, who went on to continue his training at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. That story and Del Gormo's design were created back in 1996 by Chuck Hamilton, who entered the Design an Alien contest. And now here we are nearly three decades later, and we can see how Chuck's creations are still impacting Star Wars. I think that's awesome. We can also speculate a little bit more about Yoda's old master and guess that Del Gormo might be responsible for the way Yoda speaks. We've heard Yaddle speak in the Tales of the Jedi series, and she doesn't talk out of order like Yoda does, so that led to fun, lighthearted debates about why that might be. Well, in an interview with Dave Filoni about casting Bryce Dallas Howard as Yaddle, he said, Frank Oz told me once that Yoda speaks that way specifically in honor of his own master. That was what he had thought about it. I try to keep moving these thoughts forward, and Bryce on her own made a great yaddle. So maybe Yoda picked up that way of speaking thanks to his time spent as the apprentice to Nakata del Gormo centuries before the events of the Star Wars films. Maybe we'll get a full-fledged story about all of that someday, but for now, Yoda's past remains rooted in mystery. So that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.